Hello and welcome inside the ACU TV or studio. I'm Will Dalton. And I'm Jalen Ward. Our top stories today include the Kurt Goodwin run, Dead Day events, and a recap of Wildcat sports. This is the Optimus Newscast. The Kirk Goodwin Run is this Saturday and the ACU community is invited to participate in this event. This event's proceeds will go to Dr. Cindy Roper, a professor in the Department of Communication that suffered a rare spinal stroke that left her paralyzed from the waist down. This event is at 7 p.m. at the Hunter Welcome Center. The registration for this race or to buy a t-shirt in support can be found in the Wildcat Rundown. Senior Candlelight Devotional is this Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Students are encouraged to join in support of the graduating class of 2024. This will have time for praise, prayer, and encouragement for these seniors. There are several activities happening on Dead Day. This includes a kickback with Hispanos Unidos and a Pickleball Dead Day Tournament. The kickback will have ice pops and games from 6 to 8 p.m. on Monday at the Siggy Pavilion. Students are encouraged to come and relax from the stress of finals. A pickleball tournament will also be happening on Dead Day. It will be a double elimination tournament and pizza and prizes will be provided. This will start at 10 a.m. on Monday at Rec Gyms A and B. The link to sign up can be found at the Wildcat Rundown. With sports is Will Dalton. Will? On Tuesday, baseball dropped a midweek contest on the road to BYU in a final score of 8-6. After getting into an eight-run hole, the Wildcats were able to claw back into the game, scoring six runs in the sixth, but would ultimately fall short, grabbing only one more hit for the last three innings. The Wildcats return to action this weekend, where they will host UTRGV for a three-game series with Friday's series opener set for a 6:05 start. Last weekend, softball dropped three straight games to Cal Baptist, falling 3-1, 7-5, and 10-1. The team plays their final series of the season this weekend when they head on the road to take on Grand Canyon with Game 1 of the three-game series set for 6.30 on Friday. Men's golf finished in fifth place in the WAC tournament last week, shooting a 239 in its final round. Charlie Jackson and Trenton Johnson both shot a 221 and were tied at 14th after three rounds, and Preston Cooper tied for 24th going 9 over for the weekend. That's all for this week's Optimist Newscast. I'm Will Dalton. And I'm Jalen Ward, signing off for the last time. It's been a pleasure serving you. One, two, three. Let's go.